Hello and welcome to Asian Patriot. Today we have Palisade for diesel this time. Look guys, spring is already here. First of all, I'd like to thank you for your interest on our last Palisade review. It has reached more than 400k views. Thank you so much. And that is why we brought Palisade again, so we could go off-roading and also show you a few features that we did not get to show you last time. And please do support us by subscribing to our channel before we begin. Thank you. Now we see a terminal it's closing window. It has automatically closed it. From outside, it's hard to notice the difference between diesel and gasoline because it does not say D or diesel any around the car. It also has same looking twin tip single exhaust on the right side and interior looks exactly the same. So it's almost impossible to notice unless you fire up the engine. Now you can feel the noise and vibration coming from the engine. It's nicely muted, but it's there. Before we go off-roading, I want to give you a quick comparison between diesel and gasoline in terms of speed, braking, and efficiency. Now let's get to it. Our tester has 2.2 liter diesel, also found in Santa Fe, Sorrento, and even Kia Carnivals. It produces 202 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque, and it's made it to 8-speed automatic and power sent through all four wheels. Now let me show you how fast Palisade diesel can be. It took Palisade diesel about 8 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour, slightly slower than the gasoline, but I sure do like the flat torque coming from the diesel. You can choose among five different colors and our tester is wearing moonlight cloud. It looks exactly the same from the side. It's even wearing same 245, 50, 20 on front and back. Now let me show you the braking performance of Palisade Diesel. If you break really hard, the uh, sun visor kind of moves on its own, so that's something to fix. <laughs> Can't die. <laughs> you see? Not bad for a big guy. Slightly heavier than the gasoline, so it took a little bit more time, but it sure felt stable and confident. Now let's check out the efficiency of Palisade Diesel. LSA diesel returned 28 miles per gallon in the city and 34 miles per gallon on the highway. So if you're looking for efficiency among Palisades, diesel is the right way to go. We'll go off-roading first thing in the morning tomorrow. And before we end today, let me just show you the 
handling capabilities of Palisade diesel. Let's see. Wow, it's holding up pretty nicely and uh, a track is working very, very hard here. Very nice. See you guys tomorrow. Oof. Good morning guys, just left the office. Let's go off-roading. We're gonna have to drive about two hours to off-road site, so let's talk about a few features of Palisade on the way. There's the uh, auto start and stop. Yeah, it's noticeable, but it's uh, good for efficiency. Okay, first thing first, how is diesel? Well, it's got four-cylinder diesel under the hood, so you'll notice and feel the noise and vibration coming from the engine. So if you're really concerned about NVH, then you should choose gasoline. Or if you're more concerned about efficiency, then diesel is the right way to go. I mean, if you're okay, with diesel. There's a heavy traffic <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Man. Palisade also has start and stop for efficiency and also adaptive cruise control with stop and go functionality. Now we're stuck in traffic. Let me just show you adaptive cruise control working with stop and go functionality. Now we see Palisade coming to a uh, full stop, maybe, <laughs> please, full stop. And the car ahead is starting and Palisade is restarting on its own. I think about four or five seconds and it's very convenient in the uh, heavy city traffic situations like this because I don't have to do anything myself. <laughs> very convenient actually because we have lots and lots of traffic in Korea and I'm not doing anything well I'm putting the uh, steering wheel input but other than that it's doing all the work you know, keeping the safe distance with the car in front and restarting again so very nice system while we're stuck in traffic, let me just show you the intercom system in the Palace Say. Hyundai calls it driver talk. You can select it on the uh, infotainment screen. You press this button right now. It's a system that allows you to talk to your third and second row passengers without yelling at them. Now I'm going to try to talk to my producer. Hello. Hi, guys. Can you hear me there? Yes. Everything is all right? Yep. Okay. It's working very nicely. <laughs> I'm going to okay, end the call. Yes. Very nice system. There's also quiet mode in Palisade that mutes speakers on second and third row passengers and also lower the volume to seven so that you don't have to bother your kids while listening to your favorite music. See? You press it. It lowers the volume also. Milky Way, yeah. So, quite nice for a family feature, I guess. Now we're driving on freeway and there are tunnels, so let me show you something cool. Palisade will actually recirculate the climate control and also close the windows for you automatically. We have tunnel coming, let me show you. Let's see if it works. Now we see a terminal it's closing window. It has automatically closed the circulated, start circulating the climate control. It's working with navigation mapping. Pretty smart, right? Why not? Nice. 
speed limit is about 100 kilometers per hour in this area. I'm going to set the speed to 105 for demonstration purposes. And now we see the car only going to 98 kilometers per hour. We're just passing the camera detector and now we see Palisade speeding up to 105. So this guy's also working with navigation mapping and protecting my wallet. And Palisade seems to be pretty stable on high speed too. A little bit of wind noise, but we're going fast. So feels quite stable too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uphill. Wow. Yeah, pretty solid. From outside, it's hard to notice the difference between diesel and gasoline because it does not say D or diesel anywhere around the car. And it also has same twin tip, single exhaust on the right side and interior is exactly also the same. So it's almost impossible to find out unless you fire up the engine. Now you can hear and feel the noise and vibration coming from the diesel. It's nicely muted, but it's there. Ah, I'm gonna test it, test it. Oh! Oh, it's so good. 